Hello guys, in this video we'll cover mobile application development with Dioxys using Rust. In the latest release, Dioxys has made significant improvements on its development experience making it truly one of the go-to choices for cross-platform development. In the previous videos on my YouTube channel, we have used Dioxys 05 and prior versions for web and desktop development but I mentioned multiple times that it's not yet there for mobile application development. But with Dioxys 06, that has completely changed and we can now use a single code to develop for mobile, iOS and Android and desktop and web. Now in this video, we'll specifically cover for mobile application development for both Android and iOS with Dioxys in VS Code. We'll also look at Dioxys extensions helping us in syntax highlighting and code suggestions and different other features. We'll also look at Dioxys new CLI, which is truly interactive and one of the best out there. And we'll look at working with iOS and Android emulators using VS Code, and we'll get hands-on for both iOS and Android cross-platform applications with Dioxys. And we'll also look at hot reloading and different other features. So there's lots in this video. Make sure you stick till the end and watch and if you have any questions or queries, feel free to drop in the comments or you can join me on my Discord link in description where we do tons of discussions and I do share lots of tips and tricks. So make sure you join it. First of all, let's look at the extensions which I feel one should have for a smooth mobile application development or even cross-platform development with Dioxys using Rust. So move to extensions in your VS Code and search for Dioxys. Now here, make sure to install this extension. For me, it's already installed, but you can just click the install button here to install. And as you can see in the features, we get auto format for RSX. We get, we can convert HTML to RSX. We can convert HTML to Dioxys component and we can format RSX. So you can get all of this with the extension. So make sure to install it. And once you have Dioxys extension installed, just search for Android and just go to this Android iOS emulator. Now for me, it's already installed, but you guys can just go ahead and install this. This is very popular and helps you run Android and iOS emulators just with a clicks, which we'll see in a minute. But just one thing, if you have a Mac only, then you can run iOS emulators and because you need Xcode and for iOS development, you need uh, Mac anyways. So you can do the iOS thing once you have Mac, but for Android, you can install this as well. So make sure to install this. Now let's look at the Dioxys CLI, the new CLI that we have. So move to the terminal. Now to install Dioxys CLI, we'll just run this command cargo install Dioxys CLI 060 or any later version. Now for me, it's already installed, so it's ignored, but you guys can just run this command and install and to verify you can just do dx dash dash version and make sure you have 060 or any later version depending on when you are watching this video so just clean this and now let's get our template for dioxys project so we'll just do dioxys dx in it to get a new project uh, in the current directory and we'll use the bare bones sub template which is just a get start template and full stack as false, router as false, Telvin CSS as false, and we'll use DXR for default with mobile. So as you can see here, we can see we have a project structure ready, and we have our SRC where we have MainRS with a very basic code, uh, which is our basic component, uh, the default Dioxys hero component. We'll just keep the code as it is for now, because in this video, I want to focus on, uh, you know, getting and running your iOS and Android apps with Dioxys on VS Code. So I'll not touch the code so you guys can connect with me well. And, uh, you know, there are less modifications to deal with. So once you have this uh, thing up and ready, like you have your project ready, now we'll go ahead and start our android emulator and run this for android and then we'll look at ios as well now let's run our android emulator so press command shift p in your vs code and here you get emulator so click emulator 
and press view android emulators and here you will get all the android emulators which you have created with your uh, android studio already on your machine now as you can see i have pixel 7a and pixel 8a so i'll just start let's say pixel 8a so we have our emulator up and running as you guys can see just like our android device now in our vs code let's open our terminal and we'll run the default app with the hero component that we have so we'll just do dx serve and platform as android now here you go our dioxys cli for the first time it might take a couple of seconds to build and launch as you guys can see our app is launched and we have interactive cli which gives us commands uh, control c to exit r to rebuild o to open v to verbose logging and slash for more commands now here in our emulator we have our app up and running and we can pretty much click on different uh, uh, options in our app and we can also use hot reloading so let's say in my code if i let's say remove all of this as you guys can see it's gone and now let's say if i replace this with hello world and there we go immediately we see the change in our application it prints hello world and please subscribe and there you go we have our please subscribe now in future videos we'll add our projects which will run on all the platforms like web desktop ios and android will build complete cross-platform application but for this video we'll just stick with basic demo so as you guys can see it just prints and we can pretty much add whatever we want so let's say a p tag which says i am p tag and then we have p tag as well similarly we can add more to it so let's say an h1 that says i am an h1 and we have h1 tag as well now let's go ahead and run the same application for ios now just like we run our android emulator let's run our ios emulator command shift p emulator view ios emulator and from here let's select let's say iphone 16 pro so here you go our ios device is up and running now let's open our terminal and we'll just do dx serve with platform as ios now we get our interactive cli and it might take a couple of seconds for a new platform build and then the builds are pretty quick and incremental as you must have seen in the hot reloading that we do so let's wait for our reloading to finish so here you go the first look of our ios application nice and clean up and running and changes we made to our code for android are also visible in ios now let's say we change anything it's auto reloaded immediately in our ios emulator as you guys can see i am p tag from ios and there you get the change immediately so as you can see mobile application development looks very promising with dios 6 6 and in the future videos we'll add projects which will run on all the platforms like serve on desktop web mobile and we'll check around so make sure you subscribe and connect with me on discord i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye